We have a couple of questions before we move on. How do the two random FBI agents know about the Walsh Institute, but no one else does? Uh, I don't know. I really don't. <laughs> like, maybe it's their pet project, but they don't tell their boss around it. Or <laughs> The only thing that made sense is like, well, maybe they were like surveilling this thing in some sort of like secret op of some sort. And they found the Walsh Institute in the process and they just kept it to themselves. I, I have no fucking idea. It doesn't make any mm-hmm. sense at all. Like. Unless she was like a CIA agent or something, it doesn't make any sense to me. Yeah. Why? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Why did her and Tito know the, about this place? And that's it. <laughs> Hollis and Toast Tito. <laughs> <laughs> Why not just kill the prisoners of Erwan since it's it's wasting like tons of valuable resources and they're just <laughs> yeah they're all off the grid anyway. They're all off the grid. Nobody knows about this place amnesty international doesn't have any idea that this is happening just why don't you just fucking kill him just bring him in there and kill him because they gotta have something for the zodiac killer to to do as the warden <laughs> the of that zodiac place <laughs> it's the guy who played the warden who's the zodiac was killer the zodiac yeah. killer from zodiac <laughs> <laughs> He's also uh, He's been the stuff. the husband in Fargo. Fargo, yeah. Fargo yeah. 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 which there's two two the the FBI agent is the guy who gives the money for uh, uh, the trade off in in Fargo as well. Mm. Okay, so yeah, no answer to that one, I guess. Yeah, that, I feel like a lot of these will be no answer. <laughs> Why would they leave Castor unguarded at the Walsh Institute, even if he was in a coma? People do wake up from comas like ninety nine percent of the yeah. time. And also, that was one, that was one of my. And also, like, why even just leave him? Why not just kill him? Like, <laughs> I thought maybe they were like keeping him alive so that they could put the face on it. Because, but they had they had Sean's face in a jar, so they didn't need Caster around anymore. Oh, that's true. Like, they could have just killed him after that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah like. But, yeah, and mine to go. One of mine to go along with that is like, how did he go from being in a coma, vegetative state, to just waking up? <laughs> she, she put that cigarette out on him, man. <laughs> Triggered some family memories. Jack Nicholson and drag. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> how did Caster find out who the uh, two FBI agents were that knew about the secret mission? Like, it, I mean, even if he woke up and he kills everybody that's at the at the Walsh Institute, but then how does he know about the FBI agents? Do they just show right. up? I don't know. Maybe. Check on <laughs> I know. stuff? I don't know. Yeah. And he rounds everybody up. And he gets the surgery done. And yeah. he's just fine the next day. Yep. <laughs> the, yeah. next, the next day, just walking around, yeah. just totally fine. <laughs> I wondered if he, if they went and abducted the doctor and then had the doctor call uh, our our crack team of FBI black uh, ops agents and that makes sense had them come in I, I mean this it, it really doesn't make any sense at all <laughs> yeah maybe but, he interrogated the doctor and found out who else knew and then had all his guys go round him up yeah. so he could kill them all I mean <clears throat> you know if this was Mythbusters I'd say that one's plausible oh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just trying to make logic of a movie that doesn't have a lot of logic <laughs> written into it why was Pollux at Dietrich's place looking through the window? <laughs> was <laughs> he, he, he the dialogue. rival? Was he the rival that uh, Castor was talking about? Because he's talking about, like, we're going to take out all the rivals. I I think he says something about, you're right, he would go to somebody that he knows we know. Yeah, I thought mm. he was on the lookout. Seeing okay. Yeah, because he's like, you're, yeah, you're right. He went, he did end up going to somebody that, that he knows is connected to us to try to. Why is he wearing a suit up on top of the roof? Like, <laughs> in case he got invited to party. Man. Maybe <laughs> he, party. he was yeah. supposed to go to that party with Dietrich. Yeah. <laughs> that was plan B. If, uh, oh, if Sean if he doesn't show come, up, gonna show I'm going to go to the drugs. party. <laughs> Get some drugs. Last one I have is, uh, did Eve actually know her husband's blood type or did she just take this crazy weirdo who broke into her house's word for it? (laughs) (laughs) Did she know about his blood type before this? That was one of my thoughts, too, was he doesn't I didn't catch that he actually gave her his blood to test. I thought he was just telling her to test. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's Astor's blood. He leaves on that silk thing but yeah, I guess. he, he but I we never see him joke. get wounded at any point previous to mm-hmm. that yeah 
I was like, when when he's trying to get her to believe him at the hospital, like, if only there was some easily verifiable thing he could do <laughs> with the equipment there to get her to believe that he has AB positive blood or O positive, whatever. Yeah. Um, instead of the the date story, but I guess that functionally the same thing. But <laughs> <laughs> so I joked about it earlier. But did they really like like <laughs> Caster? The real caster still has his own body. He just has Archer's face. So why why does Eve not recognize that her husband's body is completely different? <laughs> including his cock. Because <laughs> they, they only made they only made Archer's body look like Caster. They didn't make Casters look like Archers. I mean I guess they uh, did when they well, did the procedure. Yeah, I guess maybe the doctors did it in the in their procedure. In that one night when they did yeah. it all to get him fixed up. So I guess it's all it takes, that. man. It's just <laughs> it's magic. But like everything. Did they scope the penis too? And <laughs> I'm guessing, yeah. They to had to do like scans. <laughs> if, uh, uh, let's say hypothetically, <laughs> hypothetically, Caster Troy had a huge penis, but Sean Archer didn't. When he went back, do you think he would just keep Caster Troy's penis? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, like, I just got my just marriage back. It. I'm not gonna. He didn't really keep the again. abs, so no. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god! This movie would have worked better if they just done like mind swapping. Like if they're gonna <laughs> yeah. use sci-fi tech anyway. Just have it like you could download your brain into a computer. Then you couldn't and say face that off. <laughs> face off. Face. Yeah. <laughs> off 26 so times that one's plausible I guess they sculpted the penis <laughs> uh, and my other one was again I already talked about it but why like how did Caster in Sean's body integrate so well into Sean's job at the FBI that nobody suspected that something was up with this guy. And then they like immediately promote him to the, the director of it. Super easy it, job. There's no paperwork to do. It's plausible <laughs> that Sean knows Caster's life in and out because he's been hunting yeah. him for six years or whatever. Mm -hmm. But I don't think Caster had been keeping tabs on the office. No. <laughs> the FBI agent. He knows everybody there by name. He knows... <laughs> How to do the job, knows mm -hmm. the office politics, he knows everything. Yeah. Well, whatever. I guess he's just very intuitive. Sure. He knows He knows when someone's having a heart attack. <laughs> That's true. So, <laughs> that is very, he's very intuitive. 